We're missing a lot of things on the application. We'll see. Okay. Is the shred, the shred is constructed? No, it's it not. Hasn't yet. It's okay. going to be new. Okay. What else? That's it. And so we have the, this is the addition that was built. And I want to put this back. It's, it, there's a, there's a whole, it, it's below grade, right? No. This part. The back. No. The back is below grade. It's gonna. Yeah, I'm curious how he's gonna do. He's gonna build it up or. No, it's on the. Thing. It's on his. It's not down below. It's on his parking where his cars are parked. Right, oh, it's, but it slopes right down on the other side of that driveway. Yeah, it's way. You know, it's it's the sidewalk. His cars are parked right here, or what? I, what he's. Yeah. So he's gonna put it in the. He's gonna put it in the. Uh, no, because right. Shed. There's a stone wall down here, and there's a shed below it. Where his cars are parked. Yeah. If you look, there's like a there's like like a yeah. Because this is below. This is below. But the shed's going up top. He's gonna put the shed up top. Not oh. below. Right. But the back end of the shed, it's not. I mean, or this is the back end, so it's not clear that where the slopes start. Right. But it's yeah. not. It's it's gonna be high. It's not. It's gonna be street level. It's gonna be street, street level. level. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Because the yard is down, as I recall, right? Mm -hmm. Down on below, below grade, below yeah. high level of the sidewalk. I think uh, I had lunch, I had breakfast with the Greg last week. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. He's not late until the end. Sorry. Hey, Hello. how are you? You're late? Not really. No, no you're right on time. Look at, Look at that. He brings a drink with him, man. Is it well, yeah. tonic or what? Yeah, that water. No, it's battling the cold, so I gotta keep drinking. Yeah, I keep drinking. Right. Let's so get next to Elliot then. Right there? Yeah, because he's got a cold. Chair. Okay. Battling the cold. I want to stay away, though. Do my fa what do what my father did. A couple shots of whiskey, about 20 yeah. blankets, and it's fine the next day. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, what's the old fashioned way? Now they get pump your ass with the pills and everything else that's right there. All right, well, let's call the meeting to order. Um, Welcome to the ZBA Thank workshop um, for today's date, which is the first day of the year. First day of December. First day of December. First, first, day, first winter. day of winter. First day of winter. First right. shortest, shortest day of the year, too. Shortest day of the year, yeah. Um, so on the agenda tonight, we've got a workshop for uh, Peter Farrell's shed at 191 Main, and possibly um, look at um, minutes from our last meeting. So the workshop meeting. Um, is uh, to make sure you're ready for a public hearing and to schedule that if we can. So we're, we're not gonna look at any of the merits of the application or the, uh, we'll just look at the materials that you have and make sure you've got everything okay. that you need. And you've been to this before. It's been a while, I've been to so many meetings. I thought you came through, because I remember you came through the build the addition on the back. Yeah, that was a while ago. There was so many years, other yeah. meetings involved with that that I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know what day it is, to be honest with you. <laughs> so that conformant, that conformant worksheet, I, I just looked at blank. I had no idea what to do with it, so just so you know, on that front. Okay. Um, because I drew a blank on what I did the last time. I had no idea, and I couldn't find the other documents. So I, had, I didn't know where to start, so I said, let's just leave it blank. Maybe it's something we can fill in here, or I can okay, so, fill it um, in later. I guess what we'll do is we'll go through the, go through the things that you need to have, and see if there's anything that um, sure. we can't get in time um, for the next possible meeting, which is the fourth, and we can always... Uh, yeah, I'm off like the next 10 days, so if there's something that has to get done, okay. I can get it done. So is everybody else, though, so it might be hard. I'm retired. retired. I'm off all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, you have paid the yes, set up the escrow and paid, paid the fee? No. All right. So he was right. He <laughs> not prepared. Strike one. Yeah, strike one. <laughs> well, I paid you one fee. I forgot what the other fee was for. Yeah. He definitely drew a blank. Um, yeah. So there's an application fee of fifty dollars. You need to set up a five hundred dollar escrow account. Oh, I think. I don't know if Jeff said that was necessary. I guess it is now. Yeah. Well, did you talk to Jeff? Well, I paid the fifty dollar fee. Okay. But I don't. I didn't. I, I, he, when I, I asked about the escrow, it was kind of like I don't know if it's required. 
But if it is, I can do it. It is. You get the money back as soon as yeah. we're done. So Minus. I just make a check out what's the village? Yeah, Jeff can help you with that. Okay. Got that. And that's for the the notification mm -hmm. and yep. anything else that is unlikely to come up or might come up. Um, we've got a copy of the denial. Yep. Um, yeah. We don't really need a certificate of occupancy for this because mm -hmm. it's a new structure and it's a shed. Um, we've got a copy of the deed, right? Yep. Where is the deed? Right there. Oh. No, this is the. That's the. That's the. It's the more pages. So this is always the notary thing. I don't see the. What's the title, guarantee? The title guarantee. Okay, you've got another copy of that. Yeah. And you are the owner. Yep. Um, so then we need, we're on to the site plan. Do you have a new site plan? I brought in a blank. Not one that you wrote on. A blank one. Yeah, a, a, a blank of that. So I, I, I brought in copies of, sorry, just printed a bunch of them. I brought in this. So that's uh, that's the existing site plan. Before this was built. Yeah, that was from before it was built. Because mm -hmm. that that's this is all relating to what was going to be built when you built the addition on the back. Yeah. So what are you looking for? The new one. Uh, so we need, a new, we need a new site plan that shows the house as it is now. So this one here, <coughs> which is the one that got built. Yeah, but you got it written. You got it. Yes, but you also have. Okay. And this year, you got to have that place properly there. I mean, you know. So tell me what you want, and I'll get it. Okay. So this, all this stuff from the last, the last application needs to go away. So what? What do you mean by needs to go away? Do I got to white this out is, this whole page? This has. It, it give you a box. It can't be. Um, this shows that you're you're talking about the old thing that's already been done. So we need a new site plan. However you generate that, it's up to you. Um, I would so you need a rectangle, basically. You need this. this update thing. the dates. Mm -hmm. um, we need this drawn in. Um, so you need a professional yeah. drawing. Professional drawing of that. For adult. a shed. Yeah. Yep. Everything's got to go in files. Okay. But you need a professional drawing for a shed. Are you kidding me? That's that's what we get if we if we we have to take it from everybody, or then we set the precedent that. No, I, I'm, I'm bringing in the, the, the pictures of the shed. Yeah, but that's but I got I to have a professional drawing made of the picture of the shed. Because uh, I can't draw it. We need to... And just the outline of, of the, 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 four, the four walls and the corners. So put in, not sketched in by a pen, but somehow you know, put in precisely and showing exactly where you're going to put it on the, on the site so that we can measure the, diff, the distances. That's the critical thing. Yeah, and that's what I did here. But, but you, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. You know, take out a a, a fine pencil and, and do it in a, in a you know an architectural way. But I gave you what the distance is from the uh, existing property lines, and I brought an update of this, a cleaner version, if you want, because I saw that that was an issue. But basically, I did the same thing. I took the distance that I measured just again today of the shed where it's going, 10 feet from the property line here, 10 feet from the property line here, it's actually over 10 feet here, and here it's 21 feet. Basically, it's the same thing. So that's, that's closer. It's that's better. closer to what we're looking for. Yeah. I, would suggest, I would suggest using a ruler. What's going to happen is if the building inspector goes out and this, he can't tell if the angle is right, then he's not going to issue you your permit. And, and or you, you know, he's going to, yeah. it's not going to pass muster. So. Hey. It's got to represent what you're actually building. And I'm not building it. It's, so it's being just dropped gonna, in. It's being dropped you know, in. What, 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 you're gonna, what the structure is going to look like when you're done. Yeah, and that's why I'm here, because if you're telling me where it's got to go, we'll put that on the map here, and that's where it goes. So that's why I don't, you know, from a variance zoning perspective, whatever, if I'm coming into the red zone, as I'm calling it, I need to get approval. That's what I'm doing right now. Right. That's why I'm here. Right. If I want to go, if I get a smaller shed, I'm not here. What, you could you can ask us to put in whatever size shed you want. No, I know, but the shed I'm going with is the size I chose got me here. If I chose a smaller shed, you wouldn't need. I wouldn't it. Be you here. wouldn't need it, right? Wouldn't you wouldn't need, need a variance. Right? I wouldn't need a variance. Yeah. So if I'm here for that size shed, based you guys know this, I don't. I'm not. This is not what I do for a living. 
um, if you're telling me that the shit has to be X off of this line, X off of that line, and X off of the sidewalk, tell me where that is, I'll put it on the drawing, and I'll make sure I conform to whatever the, you know. Well, no, I mean, because you, you seem to have to know exactly where we're going to put the shed. Yeah. So that's different from what we're not, we can't tell you where to put the shed. You, you tell us where you want to put, you the, want to put the shed there. And, and that's, that's where it is. That's where you get the but, variance. But if you're saying, you but if you're saying my ankles are off and other things, then I need somebody to say, well, shift it this way, because the whole property's off from an angle perspective, if you look at it. <laughs> yeah. So to, 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 to tell me that my angle might be slightly off, no, I mean, just, unless, just, unless I'm just, coming in with a, a microscope or it, something, I'm it, not going to know. It's just having 30, 90, if, if this is a, if they're 90 degree corners, have 90 degrees corners on your drawing. That's what you're saying, right? Right. And yeah. the line should be straight. The and line should be straight. So absolutely. So there's one, there's no question when the building inspector looks at it, that this is what, it, you know, this is what it's supposed to be. That the, here's the distance from that corner, from that corner, you know, uh, when he, when he, when he goes and looks at it. Because he, he's going to be the one. We're not going to be the one to look at the... Yeah, but if I'm off the property line beyond... What's the what's the um, the distance I have to be from the property line? So anywhere you... If you put a shed at the end of your driveway, it's going to be in the setback no matter what. So that's why we're... Well, it's not at the end. i got a buffer behind it here. Well, it's check not, this, it's check not, this, not enough. Check this out. Here's the... This is the setback. So anywhere you put this in here, you're going to need a variance. The only place I don't even well, know. Well, this you is could, this is the street here, right? Yeah, I don't even know where you could. So this is my yard, here. right? That's that's the lower yard. Yeah. So where's the setback? This line right here. The upper yard. That means anything up here requires a variance. Anything, anything, outside of this little triangle is going to require a setback. The variance. Really? Yep. Okay, so I don't have anything to work with. No. That's why you're here. That's and that's here. why I'm saying, so tell me that right. so spot. Right. Well, that's all I'm telling you where I want it. 10, 10, and 21 from the street. Well, right. that's that's what you want then. Cool. If that's so, where you want it, that's what you want to show us on the thing. you got to understand one thing. We, everything has to be specific. I got Because you. what's going to happen down the road if someone comes up with a shed, so on and so forth, and they happen to look through the record and say, well, look what you did for this guy, we get in trouble. Yeah, so no, we're, I, we're not I don't want to shed gate two or anything. Right, because like that's why we have to be. <laughs> no, I'm sensitive to that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I know. I measured today from the property line, in and and then some. So I don't know what that distance is. So if you're saying, forget about the distance. Just tell us where you want it, and then we put in that variance. Well, that, that it's not like forget about the distance. You've got to be precise so that then the measurements are what we put in our variance. Right. If you're going to grant a variance, which you know presumably, so I'm going to have to measure along every inch of this property well, line. Corner to corner, size? corner, no, corner to corner, because it's a, there's a line that just. Yeah, I know it's in the middle, but, but if you if you, you, See, you the, the, if you if you can you know. So I'll draw it, I'll draw this in chalk, and I'll draw measure it chalk and, and then I'll measure, measure corner to corner exactly. Yeah, because the distance between here and here is going to be different than it is. from here, here to there. Right, exactly. Right. It's actually back greater. Here, and, back and so back here, it's going to be squared, and back here, it looks like it's going well, to be I mean, squared. I mean, this is the only place yeah. it's going to be yeah, angled. Yeah. Everything else is squared off. Yeah, yeah, so I'll chalk that out and then yeah. draw that in. Would that satisfy? Well, you got, you know, but precise put, about the measurement. And I'll use a yeah. ruler and I'll put in 10.6, right. 10.2. Right. Yes, right. exactly. exactly. Yeah, because so I was just, I, that's why, and, and, and that's where I misunderstood. I thought I just had to put how far I'm putting it from the property line. I didn't realize you needed to answer like the inch. We need yeah. absolutely specifics because that's the. The variance is issued that specifically. Okay, no, so I got that. So okay. I'll do that. Yeah, it's just unfortunately so, it's, it protects you so from a, a somebody ruler would be fine. Yeah, it, I, it I don't you need from, a professional, right? Drawing. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't, uh, for a shed, I mean, it's not like you're building a house. It's not like you're adding. I'll put in the exact measurements. I'll talk to James Hartford, who's okay. a friend of mine, and ask him. Yeah, ask James. If, yeah, ask James. Yeah. But I don't. You know, it, it, it's different than it's the shed. It's a, it's an accessory building that's being put on there. You know, yeah, it's going to be it's, laid it's, off. Yeah. It's not. It's a fixed size. It's, it's not a like fixed, yeah. Yeah. I'm not. It's, I'm not going to extend. Are you going to build uh, uh, any kind of foundation underneath here? You're just going to put it right on the ground. I think it comes well. I, comes on the floor probably. I gotta see what he has on the uh, spec. I think he comes with that. Comes with he, he, yeah. you know, does a prep and drops. Yeah. yeah. He does a site survey first. He checks it yeah. out, see where he's coming, mm -hmm. and then that day they come, drop, drop, done. Okay. But I have to order it in advance, so it's not like it's ready to go. They build it. 
They build it on you. They, they build, build it. it. They, they pre-build it for you. Yeah, they they pre-build it. Like the one I got. Mine was pre-built. This is what yeah. I'm getting. It just so it's, it comes in. Um, so mm -hmm. so I'm looking at the barn shed. That's bottom right. But not that color. Oh, I like that one better. Um, the, <laughs> but that's oh where God. I'm talking to the historic uh, district. Uh, they're, they're, they don't like the barn either. No, I'm sure they don't. <laughs> but there's barns all over the village, I told them. There is. There's barns everywhere. There's a barn next to Al's house down the block. Yeah. All right, so on the site plan, we've got the footprint. Okay. Yeah, the footprint of the, the building. measurements. Yeah. Where? Um, drawn clearly so the building inspector can, can interpret it. Yep. Um, everything yeah. else on yeah. this would be, is great to have. You want to leave that? You leave all this leave, stuff. Leave the, leave the prop, <coughs> the plan part of it, but not yeah. white out that white stuff, which stuff. I could do. Yeah. And then, and then, you know, get this in precisely and then measure from each corner the distance from the property line here, because that's, those are the operative yeah, issues. Yeah, I got that. So I'm going to go to the chalk this, line. It, and, and it's in this setback too, right? We've got to deal with this, that, that setback as well? Yeah, we're going to have to issue, the variance is going to have to be for for, two, for all three. For all, yeah. Yeah. Right. So what does that mean on the application? For two, so you want to show the measurement, the distance from the, from of these corners from the property line on this side as well. Yeah. Because if, to the extent it's less than 10 feet. Can I mark that up or is that your copy? This is the copy you gave us. So there's... I mean, can I mark yeah, one yeah. up? You yeah, can have one. I want to write that down. <laughs> yeah. you'll be so, no, so I'm going to X this yeah. out. You don't want that. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm not using this one. Yeah. What you want to do is, yeah, and yeah, what you want to do is have exact. precise measurements yeah, for each it. corner, each of these three corners. Yeah, I got it. Imagine. And the plan should also list the size. I can have this done by tomorrow. Size of the property in square feet. The size of the whole property? The lot area, like this one does. So the, this part you could actually leave. Yeah. The site information and stay on. So step back part, yeah. You know, Ken Dave, you're off. <laughs> it shouldn't take long. I'm getting back in the loop now. Again, looking at this stuff is like Japanese. It's been a while. Uh, it was it seven years, eight years old? Reissued in 2013, so four, four years. Yeah. All right. Was it all that, that long ago? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't remember this stuff. Like <laughs> so you, when you talk to James, see what he wants to do about this stuff. He might, since he's not signing it, he'll probably ask I can you cut to, that out. to yeah. remove all yeah, of yeah, this. Yeah, no, I will do that. Um, just reusing. <laughs> leave the address on here. Is the address on here? He don't need to. Um, I don't have to be notified neighbors, does he? Yes. I did put that in the initial other application. I think that I filled out. Yeah, you got to. All right, so you got to do that too. So we'll, 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 we'll get to that. You got to notify. I got to send them letters. Yeah, you yeah. got to certify letters to let them know. Yeah, it, it's, it's part of the. No, I, that's notice. okay. Just we we we'll get to return that. receipt requested. Yeah, we'll You'll get, get to that in just a second. Yeah. Um, so then we need uh, copies of the design plan, and I think for that, the picture of the shed is probably enough. Oh, we also need the height of the shed on the... On 10 the 5, that's on the bottom. Okay. And, and that is exact. Is, <laughs> is this the design you're getting? This that's one the one I was shooting for now. But the HDRB may not, may not allow it, is that what you're saying? Yeah. So, but it's still they, they want me to go. 14. They want me to go with a carriage house or a Quaker house, and I don't like either of them. And is the size of those the same? No. So you might want to you might want to know the size before we grant the variance. Oh yeah. Well, I, I I put in the size of the barn. That's the bigger one. Uh, no, yeah, it's fourteen. The Quaker it's house is bigger. The same. No, the Quaker house. No, they don't want ten uh, by twenty. They want ten by fourteen. It's always going to be ten by fourteen. It's always going to be ten by fourteen. Okay, well that's easy enough. Yeah. Yeah, the size of the shed's not going to change. Okay, great. They want you to go with that one. They want a a Quaker. Or a carriage, and I don't like either of them. You know, and to be honest with you, the possible. barn, the barn, <laughs> that little height gives you so much more room. That's I'm why sure. I work. You know, I can hang bikes. The man, basically, the, the mansard roof. That's the Cambro roof. Mansard style. Yeah, right? Cambro. And I see it the everywhere. Roof, I mean, yeah, the Cambro roof. That's the Cambro roof. I see these everywhere. Yeah. And the roof is going to match the metal roofs I have on my house, so it's going to look good. It's yeah. not going to look trashy. God. I think. I think you. I think you fight them for what. I, mean, I am. I already told them. Yeah, I took, what I want. Yeah. I took a picture out of the back of my house, just to let you know. Yeah. And right out my back window by my new deck, yeah. there's two barns. <laughs> they said they want me to conform to the surrounding neighborhood. Yeah. My next door, the two 
house is over, has a barn, and the one behind them has a barn, and you can see them right out my window. Mm -hmm. That's very useful then. You we, get a lot, we get a lot of complaints about the zoning. You got a, you've got ammunition. I sent them that picture, by the way. Yeah. With the two right. barns. Um, <laughs> <laughs> for my, so, it was actually shot from inside my house. Yeah. So we're also going to need eight copies of the in the short environmental assessment form. How many? Eight. Is that the one I just filled out? Uh, why eight? That's what, that's what we require. I'm not sure why. I thought we cut all that down. Just look for this. The questions that I don't... I can check with Greg, but his notes say eight. The village the village website says eight. Because you got to put it, you got to give one. Of the, we we're the conduits to the planning board and stuff like that. We got to right. The they get board. one. We I all can make eight We all get to look at one. Does Grace have a stake in this by any chance? <laughs> oh. Grace Anna, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, I I just fan him. I tried to cut the paperwork down years ago to, so he wouldn't no, spend all yeah. this money. Eight copies for what? One goes in one the file. One goes to the planning board. One goes to the review board. That's three. Some for us to look at, one for the public to pass around at the meeting. Yeah, I'll bring eight to the meeting. So eight copies. I'm, I'm, I think it'd be good to reduce some of that, the paperwork and get it. I agree. It's expensive. Form. Just at the environmental assessment, right? Yeah. The short form, right? Yeah, but, yeah. I don't it's, think we've ever passed one around to the public. It's three pages. That. If they want to. So it's 24 pages. Take a look at the one we got. No big deal. Yeah, it's just, it's just. It's Less waste. paperwork. Waste. I mean, yeah. Bureaucracy goes this and nothing gets done. When you bring it down, something gets done. Right. So on this form, do you guys help with questions? It's really easy. Well, I, I just didn't know what they were asking from a proposed action perspective. Check all land uses that occur adjoining or near the proposed action. I, I could check residential, but I wanted to yeah. double check. Because I didn't want to check the wrong answer, then it holds up in the meeting, and it's like, well, we can't do it because you checked the wrong box. <laughs> we can uncheck boxes at the meeting. Okay, does the proposal just bring the white out with you? Legislation <laughs> adoption. Does it require a legislation adoption, local law, or ordinance? No. Right, we don't. Pretty do much everything is no on okay. this form, unless there's, yeah. unless you're storing chemicals or filling up the Battery. Batteries. Total acreage of the site. <laughs> Well, that's whatever it is. It's uh, the lot size. The lot size. Lot size. So that would be the lot size. Okay. So there's, you know, but you put it in square feet, not acreage. So yeah. <laughs> so I'll put in the. That's the lot size there. Yeah. Five three four four. Okay. The other, I have like one more, one or two more. Is the proposed action a permitted use under the zoning regulations? Yes. Yes. Consistent with the adopted comprehensive plan. I don't know how to answer that one. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Yes. Yeah. Is the proposed action consistent with the predominant character of the existing built or natural landscape? Yeah. Good answer. <laughs> I, don't know, I would say so. Yeah. Does the site contain a structure that is listed on the either the state or national register of historic places? Is your house on there? I didn't put it on there, but I know that. Uh, it's here in the historic district. Yeah, but that's not the same say, as the register. No, it's not, it's not register. Not register. No, it's not. Which yeah. one are we looking at? Mm -hmm. You're not. A, you're not on the historic register. No. So no. Yeah, not on the national. I just wanted to make sure that I, I didn't. Yeah. Is the proposed action located in the archaeological census area? No. Yeah. no. Is the proposed site? Oh, is it? Does any portion of the, the site of the proposed action or lands adjoining the proposed action contain wetlands or water no. rights regulations? No. no. What, about, what about the creek? Is that is that on your property? No. It runs under my property. Does it does? It runs under it. But there's no work going on. There's no water this, coming down there. With this. Not like it was years ago. But that was a constant. Was no. Okay. And you're not you're not digging into the ground to put put any No. No, yeah. what is it? It's blacktop. It's sitting on blacktop. All right. You're probably going to sit on four by fours. Yeah, four by fours. And you'll have your four on the blacktop. Yeah, that's what I did to how they did mine. They built mine on concrete, four by fours, and the floor, and boom. Yeah. One day they were gone. Okay, so I got this. I'll give you eight copies of that. So that was my only question. Okay. And so you need a copy of this. So you need the $500 in the escrow, right? 
if we did that. You guys, they're open tomorrow, right, the village? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And the villages, yeah, they're open tomorrow. I'll get this, yeah. Wait, there you want eight copies of this? Just the, just the one. The one that you're using. The one that you're using. Just blow it up and go eight. Okay. Um, and then the, the zoning conformance sheet, we need eight copies of that. That, I didn't know what I was doing. And, that's you know, why we have and to be honest with you, I was like, you know, if I can get feedback, because they gave feedback to the Star District Review Board on their process, and we actually videotaped it. I think you guys might have been here for that when they did that workshop a year ago. I'm not sure if, if the paper was here videotaping that, but... Um, It'd be good to simplify the whole process. Not make it easy for people to get approval, but I'm saying simplify it because it's like a, if you're not in this every day, you're like, what am I doing? Yeah, we understand. It's, it's not simple. That's why we have workshops, to get people through. No, and I appreciate that, but I said, still, I think there's more that could be done to make it so much easier. And the reason I say that I do that at work for, for banking, we make it easier, not for you, the consumer, on the outside, but internally. <laughs> right. Internally. No, I'm not, I'm not oh, playing. Oh, sure. Yeah. You want to make it easier. <laughs> internally, we do, so that people can do things better and more efficiently. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, yeah. I'm yeah. looking at this stuff, I'm like. This is not, no, this is not right. This is not an efficient system. Because it's each, each board has its own when the procedures, budget. and they don't speak to each other. And that's it. Networks, you guys can you know? reuse yeah. information, too, that I've already provided. I'm like. I provided eight last week, and now I'm getting something similar that's very, you know, it's like, it's just a lot of, it seems like repetitive things that we do, yeah. and we're, and I understand you got to get the information, but there should be better ways of gathering Yeah, it. I understand. I it understand. should be passed through the boards. Yeah, so on here, I bought two copies, one that I can make notes on, and the other one that I'll fill in with yeah. for, for the, for the drop-off, but, so what am I really doing here? So the existing is essentially the measurements from from the from and well, we're really only concerned concerned with this. So the existing is is the same as the allowed because you don't have anything back here. And then the proposed is where the the um, the shed is gonna be. So So the existing is butt section? So in this one the existing is the rear yard is twenty. And the proposed is going to be something like, what is that, 8 or 10 or whatever that distance is. I still look at Essentially, you're moving this line back, and we need to know the new distance. The new well, in fact, it's really line. not even right. Uh, yeah, I'm not moving that line. The, no. the, front yard, the front yard, or the yard goes all the way for the back of the house. It yeah. is, you know, that, that's the point. It's it so ends right here. The, the, the line is, is, is almost irrelevant to, to this bird for, for, for the measurement purposes. It's the, here is the front yard is existing in the, in the so this is a where's the front yard? I don't know, this, this is the front yard. Okay, this is the front yard. This is the front yard. There are two front yards. Yeah, so there's front a yards there. There's a front yard there and a front yard, front yard here. there. He's on a corner lot. He's on a corner. He's got two front yards. He's got two front yards. So he's in the front yard set back here and the rear yard set back here and the side yard set. He's sitting in the side yard set back. Right. So for the the front yard, um, the existing is. Uh, Whatever this distance is, and the book. And it will be the same. Because there's no proposal. So what is that? Change. The well, what is the same. Where am I grabbing that number from now? That's what I don't understand. It's about 25 feet? No, it's not 25 feet. It's, it's whatever the front of your house is on. So, that, you know, this is the. That's the front. It's, we should look back at the. We should pull the, the, the decision from, the, from your last application, because that will tell you. That will show you where. What the, what the distances were. Because the, when you fill that there, the. Front, the proposed is what's the current. The proposed in your last application will show what the what the uh, existing and the current is. Or the existing yeah, and the, I couldn't know. find that. Um, yeah, but it's, you can go come here and it'll be. It'll be it'll it's got to be. Like he's got to have film of it. He's got to have. Jeff's got to have it. Oh yeah, it's got. There's records. All of everything. Records. No, I know there's records, but is he going to be able to produce that? Yeah. We got our microfilm now, right? Right? And what? So the, he'll be able to give me. He'll be able to give me the existing, and then he'll give you the form that you filed. Four years ago. What? Just hand that in? No, you got that's the model. Just take the to, take the numbers off. Take the numbers off of that. Take the numbers off of it. Because me. like and fill in what existing. <laughs> All right, Heath, you're gonna go get the because that's where I'm, I'm having trouble is how right. you're getting the numbers. All right, existing. So if you're telling me multiply yeah. this by this, this I'm good. What you're, you're gonna not. do is <laughs> what was the proposed numbers in the last one? 
become the existing numbers today. today. Okay. Then the only change here is you're going to have you're going to have um, you're you're going to have a front yard issue and a side yard and a, I guess a front rear and side. You got everything, mm -hmm. rear yard, and then lot coverage changes too because you're you're adding to the lot coverage by yeah I get all that by all that stuff. But what do I put in here? That's what I don't understand. Numbers. Numbers. Then, then you put in the distance from from this is. This is your front yard one or front yard two, so you put in that distance that can go in. 23 feet there, right? And then you're going to go eight feet there, which is yeah, that's what the rear. Where, how are you getting that number? Where's because you wrote them. You're going to you you measure, you're going to yeah. measure, you're gonna put the measurements yeah. in. You've so already the, wrote them in so here, the, see? The proposed is you're going to only, ha you're, you're not going to, you're, you're going to need to build, you want a variance against the 25 foot setback because you've got to, you're going to yeah. put it at 23 feet. So instead of now it's 25, now it's 25 and you want 23. So, so whatever I'm proposing to put the shed, that's mm -hmm. where it goes? Right. So the proposal. What, the proposal is the setback that you are going to end up with, with after you right. after you do this. So there'll be two here. This corner because it's, it's, it's at an angle. You'll have, you know, from whatever it is, X feet, inches, to that many feet, inches. Right. So where does that, is that like two numbers on one line here then? Well, side yard? front, rear, side, lot coverage. Because you said the I got rear, two here. That's rear. The rear yard is where you got That's that. the rear. You're just going to put two numbers there. You put, you put, you put two, two numbers. So what, the only way it's so not going to be two numbers so, if you were to take this shed and, and angle it, same angle that. Yeah. But the way you've got it, there's two different numbers. So what's this 23 you number put, here? What is that? That's rear too? No, it's that's front. from the front because you're, okay. you're going from. So this is actually, even though this says rear, this is actually the front. No. Right, because you have two front yards. See, this is the front yard. This is a front yard. Mm -hmm. This is the rear yard. And that's where I'm confused because you're but telling me te that technically there is no rear yard because there's two front yards. Two and front yards. Yard. Oh, there's two front yards and a side yard. Okay, there's no rear yard. Because we're oh, assuming they want so this one to be this. So I'm looking to put something in the proposed for front. All right, twenty. You've got twenty-three there, though. You got yeah, I'm actually going to change it to 21. To put the 21, propose yeah. 21. Yeah. Propose 21. And then here you're going to have a side yard setback is now 10, but you want to have it be whatever that distance is, which right. is less than 10. Yeah, measure that. Measure that. And then here you're going to have two numbers. Or maybe and take that's, the, that's the take side yard. Right, propose that's the side yard. Because right. there's no existing. These are just proposed. So you don't have any. But there. you said the existing is on the old form. Right. The existing well, only the existing is only only it deals with with this part. There's yeah. nothing that addresses no. this. I don't know. No. Well, no, because there you don't have anything there. There's nothing there. Well, I, I don't know. You're adding. Yeah. You're adding. You're proposing yeah. the thing. So that's all you're doing is you're giving us a proposal. Don't well, even so worry about yeah. that. Yeah. Let's let's do this, Pete. You don't have to have this perfect when you walk in. Why don't you do your measurements? What's in, you're going to do them in the next couple of days or something? Tomorrow. Yeah. And send them to me, and I'll review them and. We'll make sure that you've got all the measurements you need and I'll right. I'll show you, you know, I'll, I'll fill in a sample form for you and then you can edit it. Yeah, I just want to make sure, like I said, everything's right so when I go in there it's not like, well, the documents are off. Right, yeah, we that's wanna, what we're We want to make sure you're ready with this stuff yeah. when it comes. Yeah, and that's where I don't know how we came up with these numbers. I know you're trying to explain it there, but it just doesn't, still doesn't make sense. Well, like I said, the numbers that come up with what you get, you put the shed in there, and you, you know you want the shed here, there, and there. That's yeah. where we're getting our so numbers So I'll put the proposed, proposed yeah, yeah. Yes, you do. You've done all the measurements. I'll measure those distances. I'll put right. it down. If it's if we got updated, I'll update it, and I can send you that. Yeah. Okay. That. Yeah. So the escrow. So I got to write the escrow. The copies. Oh yeah, here. The exact the measurement. Here, the structure is accessory building. Is the proposed right? We'll have the right. accessory building addition right. here. Right. Area so proposed. So, that so I got to put in the square footage. The square footage. That's 140. Yeah, 140 square feet. Yeah. And where would the height go on here? I don't think it really There's has. no height. Oh, here it is. You don't worry about the height. Well, Just your height. It's, no, because it's not, it's not going to be attached to the house. Don't worry about the height. Okay. So I don't put a height on Because the only thing now, it's gonna, the lot coverage is going to change because you're adding, adding 140, 140 square, square feet, feet, which right. is really a point. Well, uh, yeah. Point, yeah, given point 140 to, to you know, 53, 53, 44, it's nothing. It's yeah. going to be point zero 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 yeah. two. 
Okay. <laughs> See, paperwork. So you'll, you'll measure, you'll take a guess, you'll send it to me, and we'll figure it out together. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, and then the next thing is the uh, notification for the public hearing. So, and you got, here you've got the uh, people at Six Chestnut and the Elwells, um, St. Mary's. How about the people who are. Uh, Willies? Willies, you got to notify. Why? Because they're across they're the, street. the street. I don't know who owns the building. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is. Yeah, I know. It's. I didn't notify them the last time. You didn't? Really? Oh, actually, maybe I did. You must have notified. Yeah, I did. Everyone on all sides of you, you've got to be, you got to notify. Yeah, you got Willie's across the street, the guy to your right, Presbyterian Church, and then the guy behind yeah. it. Yeah. That's it. What, what about the properties that can see, see the sheds or the, their backyards? They're on the next street over, Cherry Street. There's two houses. There's there's his house, and there's we used to be Lila Gold's house, and then there's that other one. And there's another one. Mr. Cotter, Allen yeah, is on the corner there. one. We could all see each other's yards. Yeah, I mean, in fact, this is I a block if you went to their yards, which would actually be a little privacy for them. From, from How many did you send out the last time? Four? Yeah, from 9D. One. From letters. Two. Three, four. Mm -hmm. So you got a standard form that I send them, or? Yeah, I'll send that to you. Yeah, return fee request, and 90% of the time people don't show up anyway. I, I told them all already. In fact, they asked, hey, what do you think of this one? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So I get their buy-in before I come down here. Absolutely. You know what it is? It's covering you. It's covering you because they'll say, yes, it's great. Then once the shed goes up, they don't like it, they come back. We've already had that situation. Oh, yeah. But I talked to because, you know, I, I want to well, get yeah, different we, we, we had good that, ideas. <laughs> we had that situation where the people converting a garage to a, work, a studio, right? Yeah. And when they got here, they had already talked about it. When they got here, there was a big argument. Yeah. Because you didn't tell me this, you didn't tell me that. So we ended up hold on, and we had to, you know, go sort it out. Sort it out before you come back to us. So this way you're covered. Yep. And they can't say, well, I didn't get anything because we've already had that with the dailies. Right. Oh, you know, we didn't get no notification. Right. They were on vacation in in yeah, Rhode Island, right. and yeah, yeah. guess what? They didn't get notice. So. It just covers us and it covers yeah. you. Yeah. So that's the gotcha. reason why you're doing that. It's you know and everything. It's just yeah. Paperwork, technical, you know. Well, it's the idea of, of you know this is notice, due process. You know, it's it's, it's a tell everybody mm -hmm. what you're doing so that you don't have someone coming. It's like being on Facebook. Everybody knows what the hell you're doing. <laughs> you, this little town everyone knows anyway. So it's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep, yep. And I'm going to get rid of that plastic shed, so it's a good thing. Yeah. And actually, they've been on me to get rid of the plastic shed for like three years. I said, well, once they get the one in the driveway, I can get rid of the plastic one. That's the one down below? Yeah, yeah. it's temporary. It's a Rubbermaid. It's actually a great shed. <laughs> <laughs> but you take it apart. I took it apart like three times already and put it back together. Moved yeah. it around the yard. Yeah, it's funny. So the next thing for us to figure out is um, if you're going to be ready for the public hearing on That's January 4th. Four. Yes. Well, we've got 10 days. As long as they get all this stuff done. Next next week. Week. We have to get so I can mail that letter out. It feels a little bit rushed because we don't have the escrow set up. I'll do that tomorrow. So if we if we want to go for the fourth, then we have to um, put it in the paper next put week. Put it in the paper right away, and you need to send out the letters right away. And if it doesn't, if all the stuff why don't, come why, why together, don't you just do this? Hold on a minute. I'll send it. Can, why don't we just wait to the following week and do it? Yeah, wait, wait, Let's do, do the, the following. Do the twenty first. We just the following. No, if the, we're, the fourth, the following week is what the eleventh. But we don't we don't meet on the eleventh. I can we go to the twenty first. We can more the fourth and twenty first. Right? I, I mean, how, far, how fast how fast do you want yeah. the shed in? I'm not going to get it in that fast because. So I why don't it, you I get it, five weeks of sure. delivery? So why don't you just? Wait, I'm not putting in the order until I get the approval. Let's I just can't, yeah. go with the twenty first. Let's go for the twenty first. Yeah, I can't. Just, whatever the date is. You know, yeah, let's yeah. just do that because this way you got time to get your stuff. I can't order it until everybody says yes. I understand. But you, you that have takes five weeks to deliver. Yeah, I, I would I wanted, rush it for I wanted it actually before the snow, but you know, maybe we're not, not going to get any snow to worry about. <laughs> I mean, don't rush. You wish because you you want to be able to do this all right. So if you if you have an extra couple days doing it because then it's the 18th is the is the uh, is I could do the that. date January 18th. What do you think? 
Yeah, I think I think yeah. delaying it until the following meeting. Yeah. Yeah. That I works, think. and I can send everything out, and everybody has plenty of time. To yes. I just need to check the judge on here because I'm going to be out. You're time. better off doing that. Just go here. You don't have to. No, wait. I waited this long, so. I mean, yeah, because you don't know if Jeff's going to be there all day tomorrow. You, at least next week, you'll have a couple of days to do things. You don't have to rush and get those letters out because he's got to send you the he's got to send you the notice anyway. They sent to the people anyway. Yeah. So, and you know, with Christmas around the corner, it gives him a couple of days to. to do things and then yeah no it's it's better I mean you get a couple weeks ago, Kelly. okay so um, but you you move ahead with the stuff you need to, to do and when we're sure the application is all set to go then we'll formally schedule the public hearing yes and put any other questions I got the escrow the eight copies I'm gonna modify the drawing with the ruler to measure everything I'm right fill in the, conf well, the conformance sheet here to the best of my ability proposal um, you got any copy yeah. of this yeah. And send me the send me the numbers for the conformance and, and we'll make sure it's so I'll scan it and send it to you and type them into an email. And yeah. After you do the measurements. I know I'm not gonna even if I get it right, it's like a miracle. Um, well here's is it important to get the numbers right? Because No, I'm gonna measure with the shutdown. Okay. That's critical. That's, That's really important. That I'm going to chalk out. Want. It's, it's what you want. It's yeah, I'm going to chalk out what I'm doing in, yeah. in the chalk. It will be there. Yeah. And, and I'm going to measure it to every corner. Because what we're, what we're going to diagram. issue is a variance, which then oh. the building inspector will look to for you to comply with. Yeah. Oh, I totally So if you're an inch off, he's going to go, you know. Well, that's why I want to put a little buffer in. So if I'm. When I say that buffer, does that scare you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm measuring. No, I'm measuring to the to the line. Yeah. Yeah. Which I know because they just my neighbors that just moved in they put in the marker for the property line. Yeah. Um, so I'm measuring to that line, but that line is not you know hard coded into the ground. It's close. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so so <laughs> if they surveyed and put the mark, it's got to be damn close. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the mark the is yeah, they, I don't know what they put this red thing that goes. Yeah, yeah. And all that, but yeah. Just measure off of that. But it's, it's, and that goes again with the angle too. So I got to get that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll do my best to get that all that together based on what I think I'm doing there. Okay. So we'll we'll check in uh, after the new year to. Make sure everything's in place, and you'll send me those numbers whenever you get them. Okay. And then you'll get your. And we'll figure. Yeah, you have to go back to the after the hearing. Is that it for me? Like with you guys, like you guys. Well, yeah, everybody you, says yay. It's yeah, good. yeah. 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 You have the variance, then then Aaron issues it to the building inspector, and and. Uh, and then I just got to get HDRB approval to. to HDRB is a separate thing. Yeah, no, I know. HDRB. But then I go back to them after you guys do that. Well. Is that, I, mean, I mean, what's the next step? Well, you can Are they go, waiting you, for us? That, you know, I have you, no idea. You can, you can go forward yeah, with them absolutely. without us. I don't have to wait for us to go to, to, to press them. All right, because I want to finish that with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah don't All wait for I us. I didn't know if there was a handoff. No, but no, no, but no, you're right not to actually buy it until you have both approvals. I think. Yeah. Yeah, because... Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, I yeah. order it, it's, it's mine. Right. The minute I order it, it's mine. Right. Because you're building it. <laughs> and it's... You know, the way they're building it is going to be, you know, different than what's in the picture here because, not that you need to know those details, but I'm not going to have the door on the side because it's not going to run that way. It's going to run this way. Ah. The door's going to be over here, the barn doors. Got it. As long as it's within the setbacks that you give us. Yeah. We that's don't what I'm We don't care where the door is. We don't care where the door is. It could be on the top. You could have skylights in it. The only thing that matters, the matters the is that where you put it. Where you put it. Where you put it conforms with what... You ask us for what we get. What I'm going to mark that up. Yep. Yeah. It's really important that all of that is consistent. Got gotcha. you. You have to worry about that. No, that's what I, you know, yeah. that's why I'm here. I want this to is, it's not where you can make an error and say, oh, I missed it by a couple of inches. You know, that's going to. No, that's I know. Gonna, and that, you like this drawing, I'm just going to X out this guy here in the yeah. bottom and leave the side information in place. <laughs> and as I'm doing this, I might, you know, poke James on the shoulder and. Yeah, that's a smart tell, idea. Tell him to walk across the street. <laughs> my, my kid's at his house. I'll tell him you're going to be in town. <laughs> Don't scare him. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, <laughs> he's coming for... Yeah. I might ask him. You might get there before I do if you, if you leave now. Yeah, yeah if, he, if he gives me two minutes, that's, that's worth the, you know, yeah. the punch. You know, just say, no, you're good. You know, after I do my chalk out and all that. Yeah. 
All right. Well, Great. any other questions be in touch? Thank and, you. Um, I appreciate it. And yeah. thanks for putting up with my uh, no, confusion. There. You need this too, right? Is this oh, no. That's why, as I say, that's why I, I took this. You don't need this? Are we leaving this? Or you, you can leave the... Uh, oh, you want him to leave that? Yeah, why don't you leave the original oh, okay. and, and your deed for your title. All right, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I, don't see that, I don't see that as a... I don't read this to be a title. Oh, I thought you said it was a title. And look at the bottom. But it's it's, it's a stamped. Title. What's it the stamp say? It is, it is it stamped. Is okay. Yeah, That's a notary entitled. stamp. That's no, it's a county stamp. Oh, it's a county stamp I there? believe so. Yeah. I don't. I don't see. What did I see? That I, what commissioner. A title guarantee. That's what I looked at. Yeah, this is I, this one page, but it's, it's not. Oh, I think there was more than one page. I don't see. Indeed, a, this is all copies of the same document, but I don't see. Yeah. A, I don't see a, a. I don't read this to be a deed. So this is you know where's. I think there's another. There's page another of document. Business. That's not. When did you get this? No, I think I might have sent it more than this though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because there's got to be something on the bottom of that. There's something on the There's another side stamp of, on the top. There's another too. page, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, these are all notary stamps. Yeah, I don't know what's on it. This doesn't have my name on it. No, it, it, it's, it's, it's the, well, it, it's. There was definitely another page. Let me pull up the, yeah, yeah I got the, the that. There's something that's missing. Oh, no, my name's on the bottom. Yeah, that, but, yeah, but this is. This is one page of a document that, or pieces that there's some. There's more to it than this. There's a lot of pages. Right. So, so how many pages? But I, don't you guys see, but I don't see. But I don't see the deed. This is a title guarantee, but that's not the deed. Is the hell is North of Carolina? Yeah, the guy signed. This guy, Bofield, signed in North Carolina. Yeah, he did. And trustee. Which, oh. Yeah, this is the Employee Stock Ownership Trust executed. Richard Benfield, no, this yes, is Tryon, North Carolina, it's all just the trust. Yeah, so this is, so this is, this is a... Yeah, I'll look at the, yeah, the deed fine, documents. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see a deed there. Okay, yeah. thank you for... <laughs> <laughs> all right. And you do what for a living? That's why we have the lawyer. You do paperwork <laughs> for a living? I, just, I don't do paperwork, no. Oh, I, I don't do anything about real I estate, do, but I know that I do actually need, business so. technology, process automation. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's process automation. Yeah, I kind of. You know, we're we're going to be replaced by robots. So yeah, we're working on that. <laughs> it's scary. I've been trying. I, uh, yeah, but I, I love a lot of work because yeah. of wireless and all that new stuff there. The former bank in New York. Yeah, I'm. I'm in the. Also, completely autonomous, but I have been trying for two months plus now to move. An account to liquidate an account that I have at Chase and move it to buy a new, a new an annuity at New York Life. Chase will not let go of my money. For two months, no. I've been fighting with them to you know to give them you know all the papers are filed. They you know they won't do it. They, 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 I can't get them to give up. It's like thirty. What type of dollars. account is it? It was. It's an IRA. It's a. Uh, an Maybe IRA we account. should save this for after the video. I know. It's like, but I know. It's, 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 it's <laughs> insane. Oh, you the video's like, on. Yeah. The video's on. Yeah. Are you gonna play this somewhere? Yeah, no, sure. It's gonna be on. It's gonna be on, on public record. But but it's it's. Uh, as long as it's not showing up on with that channel. All right. So uh, there you go. so Peter, <laughs> we're, we're done with you. We're Thank done. You. Good. Thanks. Take it easy. All right. Easy. Happy holidays. Have Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Same to you. Yeah. And I'll see you guys in the year. And yeah, as soon as you send me that stuff, I'm going to get it right back to you. Because okay. I want to get this. Give right. Hartford. Right. While it's fresh. Give Hartford a heads up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, by the way, I'll see Jeff tomorrow. Um, That's so another thing. Does the village take um, electronic chess? I don't know. I don't know. Little paper. They'll know. take your money. You know. yeah, no, but I'll, I'll find out tomorrow. But yeah. I don't have any checks. I'm going to send it to them electronically. It's not like my son. No, no, nobody's he has, doing no, check, that he has no checking account. He just everything swipes it on his. Boom, boom, no, boom. but you could send them, you know, you just from your right. account. So yeah, that's absolutely. What do. Yeah, yeah, you can do that easily. I still write checks. I I rarely write a check anymore. I hate internet technology. So we've yeah. got uh, we've got these minutes. Yeah. Um, we're yeah. done. We're done. Thank, Thank you. Thanks so much. Um, Elliot was not here. You and I were here okay. out of four. Okay. So should we go ahead and review these? And Why not? Okay. Fill out with Scott, go to bed. Oh, yeah. Take care of that cold. Yeah. <laughs> That'll work.
to close the meeting? Uh, we don't have to close the meeting because we're, we, we're, 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 we're okay. We do this. Uh, this looks fine to me. All right, you make a motion. I, m I move that we uh, approve these minutes of mm -hmm. the November 2nd, 2017 meeting. Second. Okay, all, all in favor? Aye. Aye. There we go. So, Done. good.